Hello, I'm Stuart Topquid and I'm the director of Global at the Florence Nightingale Foundation. This video was intended to help you in your application to our Global Leadership Scholarships to give you the best perspective and best tips to have a successful application. And at the end of my presentation, I'll be joined by my colleague, Jenny Kagua, who is our head of Global at the Florence Nightingale Foundation and herself a Florence scholar. And she's gonna give you her experience and her perspective on being a scholar and her best tips for a successful application. So thank you for watching. First of all, why would you consider applying for one of our scholarships? All of our scholars and our alumni give great feedback and agree that our scholarships are a transformational experience, a chance to bring out the best in you as a leader. We know that nurses and midwives at all levels already show leadership skills and abilities, but our scholarships will help you develop that leadership style, your own approach, and to become the most effective and best leader that you can be within your health system. By undertaking the Global Leadership Scholarships, you'll get the opportunity to learn alongside an international cohort of senior nurses or midwives in leadership positions, which will give you a great chance to learn from them, to develop together as a group, and also to give back in terms of your experience and knowledge to supporting other nursing and midwifery leaders in other countries. And importantly as well, through our global community and network, you'll get access to a fantastic platform to showcase your abilities and your skills and to share everything that you do on a global platform, which will be a great opportunity. Through our scholarships, you'll get a tailored personal and professional development plan. You'll get access to one of the very best leadership development programs for nurses and midwives, and you'll get the support of an experienced mentor, a nursing and midwifery leader operating globally, who will be able to give you fantastic individualized support and advice. And I've already mentioned, you'll get access to and learn alongside an international group of like-minded nurses and midwives. The whole scholarship journey will come with a range of personal and professional life-changing experiences and your employer or the government that you work for will also benefit from your improved abilities and knowledge as a nursing and midwifery leader. You'll undertake a project, an improvement project in your own country, and that will give you the opportunity to contribute to the growing evidence base of improve, how to improve patient and health outcomes through nursing or midwifery leadership. And at the end of the program, you'll get the award of a Florence Nightingale Foundation scholar, a connection with one of nurses, one of the nursing profession's greatest leaders. And you'll also get the opportunity to attend our amazing Westminster Abbey commemoration service for Florence Nightingale on the 12th of May. A few words about the eligibility criteria for these global leadership scholarships. We're looking for senior nurses or midwives who hold a valid registration in your own country of practice. When we say senior, we're looking for those that are leading organizations or working within policy or government. So we really do want to see people who are in leadership positions already. It's really important that you get support from your organization or your nation in your scholarship. It will take some time um, out of your day-to-day -day role to undertake this scholarship and you'll get the most out of it if you have a lot of support from the organization or nation. And we need to see a high level of competence in written and spoken English. We understand that English might not be your first language but we're expecting to see people who will be able to communicate effectively in English. And to be absolutely clear, these global leadership scholarships, this cohort are for those that are employed outside the UK. A little bit about what the scholarship program will entail. You'll be accepted and begin your scholarship journey in, in late March, early April, 2023. And you'll be expected to attend in the UK for the core part of our scholarship program that is delivered by our associates in the King's Fund and RADA, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, and we'll schedule those core parts of the programme together so that you only have to travel to the UK for a few weeks for the core part of the programme. You'll also have the opportunity while in the UK to hopefully undertake an optional policy influence and political strategy placement where you'll be alongside senior nurses in the UK and get the opportunity to observe and understand how they influence and deliver policy. And following on from that, you'll be undertaking an improvement project in your own health system with the support of the mentor that you've been linked together with. I've already mentioned you'll get access to international connections and global health connections through nurses and midwives that you're undertaking the scholarship program alongside. And then in May 2024, you'll be invited to join us for our Westminster Abbey service in London. We're looking for, we'll be looking for you to complete and submit the project you're working on as part of your scholarship in May 2024 and then you'll graduate and celebrate together with us and other scholars in October 2024. That might involve travel to the UK, but if that's not possible for you, we can explore doing that virtually as well. Now a few words about our application process for the scholarships. 
It's a fully online application process. We will need to see evidence of your own nursing or midwifery registration in your country of practice. So if you can submit photographic evidence and upload that to the system, that will be uh, necessary. We want to see you write a short biography about who you are and your role and your leadership journey to date. We want to see a summary of your improvement project. Obviously at this initial stage, you won't have too much information um, and too much detail about your improvement project, but it's good if, if you can try and give us as much detail as possible about what you'd like to explore, how the scholarship program will help you and what the outcomes of that project might be. As I explained on our website, we have several funded places this year for global leadership scholars. So please indicate during the application process if you'd like to be considered for one of those funding places, but we are welcoming participants with their own or alternative sources of funding as well. So please make that clear during the application process. These are some of the application questions that you're going to see. We'll ask you to tell us about the team you work within and your role. We'll ask you to tell us about your leadership achievements to date and about how the FNF program will enhance your leadership aspirations. We'll ask you to describe the improvement project that you'd like to undertake and to give us a bit of detail about the project outcomes. And also, as an organisation committed to the sustainability agenda, we're asking you how your improvement project links with sustainability and what impact it will have. In other words, we're looking for you to tell us who you are, how you lead as a nurse or midwife, what the differences you want to make to healthcare and the patients you look after, and how this scholarship is going to enable you to make that difference. So these are the really important things that we want to see come through in your application that will give you the best chance of being successful. Some of the common mistakes that we see during the application process, people often give us short or very limited answers. We're not looking for war and peace, but we are looking for you to give comprehensive detailed answers that give us the information we need. Try to avoid spelling, grammar errors. Uh, we understand that English might not be your first language, but please try to proofread and make sure you're application is as strong as it could be. We sometimes see impersonal or generic responses, so please be, try to be specific to the question we've asked and try to give us the information about how the Florence Nightingale Foundation Scholarship will help you in your leadership journey. Try to focus on actions and behaviours rather than focusing on feelings. Try to reference Florence Nightingale or the Foundation and be specific in your answers and speak very clearly about why you want to undertake this scholarship and what the opportunity will do for you. And sometimes we see a lack of detail around the project. As I've explained, we're not expecting to see too much detail or information at this stage of the project, but it should be well thought through. It should include references and you should try and give us some idea of what the project outcomes or measures of your project are so we can understand how we'll judge whether that project has been successful. And we'll hand over now to my colleague, Jenny Kagua. So for me, Stuart Tuckwood at the Florence Nettinger Foundation, I'd just like to say, Thank you for your interest in applying. All the best in the application process. And I'll hand over to my colleague, Jenny, to tell you more. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stuart, for the introduction. And in the next few minutes, I'd like to give you some top tips on completing your scholarship application. But first of all, I'd like to congratulate you in making that first step and that decision to apply and develop further your leadership skill by applying on this scholarship. Just a little bit of insight on my scholarship journey. I think the strength that the Florence Nightingale Foundation scholarships have is that it is bespoke and it is based on your leadership needs. As an internationally educated nurse myself from coming from the Philippines, it has been an interesting journey for me to develop as a senior nurse leader in the UK healthcare setting. And if there is one word to sum this up, for me, it is life-changing. And so the first tip, what would Florence say? If you are not familiar about Florence Nightingale Foundation, it is worth reading about it and finding out more about who is Florence Nightingale, what is her work, and the main purpose of the foundation is to continue her legacy. Dame Yvonne Moore's one scholarship is named after her, says that Florence Nightingale Foundation enables nurses and midwives to realize the confidence to be the best leaders across the world. Secondly, take your time. It's worth thinking about how will you grab the attention of the reviewers. Set aside time for you to reflect on how you will answer the questions 
And it is useful to write your answers on a Word document and share this and get feedback from someone who you value their judgment. Thirdly, use the maximum word limit. It is good if you can give us a well-structured, well-articulated answers so that the reviewers will see more depth with you as an applicant and the values that you demonstrate as a nurse leader. Next, define what you want to achieve with your project. As a senior nurse, we would expect you to link this to national and global priorities within your country. And the reviewers would want to see how will you demonstrate the benefits and outcomes from your improvement project. And next tip is make your answers personal. Share your experiences. When I was applying, I reflected on what are my values and motivations for going for this scholarship. It is good if you can give examples on what makes you unique as a leader, your moments of pride, and what aspirations and vision do you have for your work in the profession. And lastly, be specific about the impact of the scholarship. How would being an FNF alumni help you in your career? There is evidence that staff who go through our scholarship then get the next job promotion, the next exciting job role. And so with this, I'd like to wish you good luck in your application and we hope to see you in interview.